Just to introduce me again, my name is Yanis Apps. I graduated from Ontario Veterinary College in 1966. I now provide the technical advice for Carterfin and am the principal in Arthur Farm Services, which distributes Carterfin in Canada. Over the almost 20 years we've distributed Carterfin, we've had many questions, ranging all the way from those that I've answered in the video about treatment of dogs with arthritis to use of Carterfin in rabbits and other animals. All of the uses other than in dogs are off-label uses. This means that Carterfin has not been approved for use in animals other than dogs. Nevertheless, here are some of the various questions that we've had occasion to answer. Most of them come from veterinarians and some from pet owners. At all times, we advise the pet owners that it is one thing for us to discuss their pet with them and quite another for the owner to seek advice from the veterinarian. The latter has seen the animal and assessed it, and this first-hand advice is much more valuable and more likely correct than simply coming from us to the pet owner. One of the most frequent questions relates to cats and the use of cartofen for arthritis and interstitial cystitis. With respect to arthritis, our advice is that the dosage should be carefully calibrated and given at 3 mg per kilogram body weight with the same regimen as for dogs. Four injections, one week apart, followed by repeat single injections as often as required based on the veterinarian's advice. Interstitial cystitis is a difficult diagnosis to make and often it is arrived at by elimination. Once it has been determined that other treatments do not work, then cartofen has been tried, sometimes with good success. It is a long-term therapy, so after the initial four injections, injections should be repeated at intervals no less than two months apart for as many as 12 months. If improvement occurs, the injections should be carried on for at least two months after the improvement. It should be emphasized that this is a difficult condition to treat and in man efficacy is at best modest. Treatment is long term, but response when it occurs is very gratifying for the pet and the owner. Increasingly, questions have been asked about the use of cartofen in horses. Again, it is an off-label use here in Canada. The regimen basically involves two milligrams per kilogram once a week for four weeks followed up as necessary. The injection is intramuscular. Improvement can be quite dramatic and there's a temptation to put the horse to work right away. Our best advice is to strictly follow the veterinarian's instructions. The Australians who make the drug have conducted safety studies to be able to advise veterinarians on the safety. Cartofen Forte has been approved in Australia and New Zealand for use in horses. Questions have come about the use of cartofen in zoo animals. The advantage is compliance in that there is an injection and dosage is thus assured. In addition, there are no side effects requiring testing such as occurs with NSAIDs. The dosage is again based on weight. As we have advised, there is no stability data on storage in syringes and we advise against it. Leaving an open vial out for a few days at room or even 30 degree temperatures does not affect the efficacy or stability. Unopened vials can be left out even longer. Nevertheless, refrigerated storage is the safest. If a pet owner is to be given instructions for use along with cartofen for their administration to their pet, dosage instructions are very important. Giving a dose over and above the recommended dose can lead to problems. Pet owners have accidentally overdosed by as much as five or six times and this can be dangerous. We sell the product only to veterinary distributors and to veterinarians because it requires a prescription in Canada. It is not available for sale in the U.S., so we have to apply for a special permit from the U.S. FDA. There is a specified procedure that we follow, and it requires a veterinarian's signature. By the way, the French version of the website is now available. In conclusion, I wish to reiterate that cartofen is not an NSAID, nor is it hydrocortisone. 
It is made from plant origin beech extract and contains no animal tissues. We're always interested in the views, comments, and advice of pet owners and veterinarians. I hope that the information in this brief overview has been helpful and you may always call us on our toll-free line or visit our website cardfriend.ca.